Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we are going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and that is the fully functional analog clock in vanilla Minecraft. Now this is something that I've always wanted to work on in this channel, but I've never got around to it, but I've finally got onto building one, and boy oh boy am I happy with the end result. First off, it is incredibly compact, in fact, it fits in a very nice rectangular box, which I really like, and secondly, it keeps time incredibly well. In fact, it has got a percentage accuracy of 0.1%, which is very impressive, and thirdly, it looks really cool. And that's the main thing, so let's take a closer look at it. Now before anyone gets mind-blowingly confused on how I have done the clock hand, don't worry, I haven't done any fan-dangled command block business, I have just done some standard retexturing of the redstone lamp, so when it is off it looks black and when it is on it looks white. That is just to help you guys out so you can see a lot clearer where the clock hand is. But as far as the actual mechanism is concerned and how it works, funnily enough I have not used a daylight sensor for one main reason and that is they don't work at night which is a little bit of an issue if you want to keep time during the night. So instead I have used a standard redstone counter that counts for 150 seconds, which if you times that by 8 it gives you exactly 20 minutes, which is the length of a Minecraft day. I personally feel like this build could have been made better by giving 12 states for the hand to be in instead of 8 because then it looks more like your standard analog clock that goes from 1 to 12. But if I had done that it would have made the redstone considerably bigger and I personally like it the way it is. Speaking of which I think we should head round the back and take a look at it so let's go. Now hopefully some of you are pleasantly surprised by seeing this because as you can see it isn't particularly large. If you take a look at all of the components that go into this, first off we have got the 150 second timer that is governed by the hopper timer which you can see down at the bottom. Then above that we have got the counter that just counts along and there is 8 places for the hopper item to go into and then it will cycle back around. All we have to do is take the output from that and put it onto the clock face which is a bunch of redstone lamps lined up in a nice little pattern. When you say it like that it does sound very simple but when you have to cram it all into a small place sometimes things do get confusing but I did manage to make a working model that I am happy with and here it is. Now unfortunately I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this specific build simply because there are a couple of issues that I feel like you need to know about. First one being if you were to go to sleep it's not going to know you do that. Because it's not working off a daylight sensor, it's not going to realize that you went to sleep and it's going to keep counting time as if nothing happened and thus it is going to be incorrect. The same thing happens if you were to unload the chunks that it's in, go off into the distance, it's just going to stop counting time and that causes big problems. However, if you are still interested in it, then I will include a world download in the description below that you can check out for yourselves. Heck, you could put it into your own world or build it for yourself if you so want to, but I just felt like you should know all that. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today, ladies and gents. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.